Hello guys, Kuzos here, and today is a new video series. Now, the gist of this series, I want to call this is Half Sudden Chill, but I don't know. I might, I really want to think of a better name. And if you've got any suggestions in the comments, then that'd be very good. Or, yeah, I, I don't know. I might make, change, make my mind up after this series. Now, since I've been playing Half Stone, this is all pre recorded games of me playing it. So, this video right here is about three months old because as I said in a previous video I used uh, I had place TV which is like the AMD shadow play equivalent running in the background so you know that's that and I got a, and it recorded it in all more or less 60 FPS I think yeah I think it's 60 because it looks really smooth in the preview so first game is a priest deck as you can see so we are playing a so if you're not used to half stone um well i have to actually explain the rules well wow. anyway so the, as you can see the numbers on the top left of the cards i'm holding that's the mana the required mana so obviously the on the far left it needs this is free and those little stirring crystals are you gain one each turn and basically you you just abide that so next turn I'll be able to play the free cost on the far left now he used something called hero power which is unique to all heroes so he's one just some, some as a random totem and my one it heals two points is it I think it's one or two I think it's one I don't know no, it's definitely two uh, yeah so it just heals whatever so it could be me anything on the board um, and it's only to one f individual or one character, yeah. And yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty good start for me. Um, and yeah, so now he just played a spell card and more or less needed to destroy everything. But what I can do here is let's see if I do it. Yep. So basically, one of the abilities of the cleric there is. Whenever a minion is healed, including itself, you can uh, draw a card. So, that's pretty handy. And yes, guys, I know. Uh, I'm just... If it was to sort of like uh, anyone who's used to Hearthstone and is watching and just going, ah, oh, blah. It's, I'm trying to be chill about it, but I'm usually very jumpy when I do videos. And obviously, I'm not really... I'm used to playing it. Halfstone, but I'm not used to commentating it, so it's going to take me a while to get decent ish, I guess. So, playing a little spell card there to get rid of one of those bad wolves. Let's play a Tauren. Tauren Warrior, which is also Torn. Also, might as well explain Torn. Torn is you can only attack, you, it's more or less a brick wall. So, if. So, on there, they can only. So, I can't attack his face anymore, his health. And like he's like the actual character, I have to destroy the taunt first, and it's the same for him. Yes, you can't attack it. another minion. You have to get rid of the taunt, and yeah, pretty handy, especially now where you, where I can, especially for the priest class because, uh, mm, I probably should have actually looking now. I probably should have healed my. I don't know. No, I guess it was a good call. It doesn't matter anyway. Maybe I was thinking maybe to heal my uh, taunt, the one on uh, the torn warrior, but hmm, I think it still would. Wait, if it two, I don't know. It might have died. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yep, as you can see, he being a scrub. <laughs> um, this is a nice little spell. So what you can do here. So the first spell I played is to it doubles a minion's health. So if it has one health, it will double it to two. If it has like eight health, it double it to sixteen. And then that was so that was divine spirit that card. And then the other card I played was inner fire, which changes the attack to be equal to the health. So what we just increase, we make it's more or less just like insanely buffing the card. And yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a very nice combo with a priest, especially when you have like cards like 
the light wards. I think that's what it is. It's yeah. And guys, that's the legendary cards right there. As you can see, legendaries are quite they're bastards, pretty much. Um, Ragnaros. This is Ragnaros, the Fire Lords, and he. Now the thing about this card is you, you cannot physically attack so I can't make him attack anything at the end of each round he will deal 8 damage to a random enemy target, a random enemy and yeah, and that's basically what he does and it's very good for especially if you're going for RNG plays most of the time, he, he does I will admit uh, Ragnaros has got me out of some sticky situations in before Especially with like decks that I know are just crap, and I just he was just uh the he I just yeah he, he saved a lot of games for me. Oh, see the RNG now. It, if it would have hit him, I would have won the game now. But you know, it was a fifty-fifty. So as you can see, we are about to win this game, or will he pull some out the bag? Oh, see he's he's going all out. So we can destroy a minion with five or more. So goodbye to that. Use our taunt to get rid of that taunt. And uh, yeah, let's just let Ragnaros do his thing. And that's a uh, first win for the series, guys. That was, yeah, pretty good, I'd say. So guys, that's been... Actually, hold on, should I do, should I do a juicy episode? I, I want to aim for at least 10 minutes. So let's do two games. and Yeah, let's do two games. Hopefully this is a, another win. I can't... I don't actually remember this recording. Or to be honest, it doesn't have to be a win. It could just be... A, if it's a good game, I'll include it in the series. If it's like an epic game, I'll include it. So it's kind of a... Oh, what will happen? You know? Okay, so we're playing the priest deck. Priest class again. And we've got some different cards. It is light spawn. The one I've just crossed out. Uh, that's the one I was on about. It's, it's uh, what was it? It's attacks always equal to its health. So if it takes damage, its attack will go down. And if you give it a buff, its attack will like for its health. Like so you give it more health, its attack will go up. But yeah, it's pretty good. Also, I think it. Neg I remember uh, it negates spells, so it was. I think one of it was set a random set a minion's health to one, and because its health was still five and it didn't actually attack it, it didn't work. And the guy kind of was like, "Huh?" <laughs> and I was kind of like, "Huh?" So <laughs> yeah, there was that. And yeah, so what? Why well, didn't this guy spam the moats? But <laughs> so yeah, what we. Uh, doing here is we're against uh, yeah what we're against here is a paladin it, he's his hero power is to s summon a 1-1 one, one minion and yeah it's pretty pretty good if you're uh i don't know if you're just low on cards or if you're doing like whatever i don't know i can't really think of it if you right now sorry guys my first half some commentary and yeah i'm trying to be mildly entertaining for you guys because I'm not really used to like chill commentary, I guess. I don't know. Hope you're enjoying it so far. <clears throat> so he plays Hammer of Wrath. Dual to so more or less kill that and he draws a card. Pretty bullshit, but you know. You know, when I first saw that card, uh, before I even had, like got any packs in this game, I was so mad because standard, you don't get good cards like that. And or at least the at least the decks I was building, I never had good cards like that. I remember. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That was it. Oh shit! I can't believe I remembered that. Look, that was what I just mentioned. Where the guy was like, "Huh?" <laughs> oh man. Well, memory or what? I didn't even. I did. I didn't even look at this gameplay before. I literally went like saw it by date and just looked for like the one of the earliest. Recordings I had. Wow. And there you go. Wow. Full circle, guys, for the first episode. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a very good card. It costs 10 mana for a reason. 
It's uh, so if you don't know, it's pretty obvious. If they have like a killer monster on the boards, then um, then we can just uh, steal it. It costs ten mana, and it's ours now. No strings attached, and yeah, it's very good. Makes this. It makes this. The priest for casual, like just like having fun and messing around, is probably one of the funnest decks I've ever played. But for serious ranked games, it's it's a 50-50. If you go up against someone who's okay, then you know it's quite fun because you can sort of play around. But if it's someone who's like quite good at the game, they just shrek you immediately, <laughs> and then you're just like, oh, am I really bad? And then yeah, and everyone probably gonna be like, yes, you are really bad. <laughs> And that's one of the problems with light spawn, is as I said, the attack's always equal to itself. But I guess it's you know. So that's a holy holy nova. It's a pretty pretty good card. You deal two damage to enemies, and you get two health to everyone back, which is pretty amazing. And let's hope he doesn't have another hammer of wrath, and decides to throw it at our light spawn. Okay, well, he has a true silver champion, which is a weapon. That's something I've not mentioned. Some sp specific classes can use weapons, and yeah, they do not need a turn to use. They can use them immediately, which is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty annoying. And right here, that's a bit of a problem because I don't have any minions. <laughs> I have all spell cards. But yeah, let's see what happens. So he's going to restore 6 health. And he's going to go face with his true, uh, with his what, uh, silver hand recruit. And now, still, <laughs> still no minions. So what would be good here is to get rid of that taunt because I do not feel like having 6 damage. Uh, could waste a holy nova. Okay. See, sorry. I wonder, wonder what he's got. I do. I don't remember this game too well. Oh, I guess it's a good thing. I, a good thing I saved that Holy Nova. Well, you can destroy that three-five uh, the Taz Dingo, which is the middle, the uh, the middle minion, which is uh, three-five. Next, that's one taunt gone. Could hold it over it, which will get rid of the true silver champ, true silver, the one one recruit. But we would play that spell just to remove that, heal ourselves up, nearly to full health, and um, you know, I could, now with Hearthstone, I guess it's kind of good that there's no chat, but the emotes do piss like do piss each other, uh, both players off, especially when you just, you know, you win a game and you just go thank you, or the guy goes. By the holy light, or something like you know, something like that, and it's it can get seriously annoying. But yeah, there's um, yeah, you go. He starts threatening, and with I don't think we've even used an emote this game. Being all professional, being a being a good player. I guess. <laughs> now, if you're really nice on Hearthstone, like a nice player, you will as soon as the game starts, you go greetings, you say hello. And then afterwards, you say, "Well played." If it's been a good game, you know, be a very, be a gentleman. So uh, he's got a secret card, which is if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, it's kind of like a trap card. But yeah, it actually, is exactly like trap cards from Yu-Gi-Oh. And yeah, so that could be um, any manner of things. I won't. Exp would it see? Nope, it didn't activate. Now, what's very, it's very bad now. Is yeah, so we we really want we didn't want those two one ones to get uh, attack our taunt because we're struggling to get minions. But so yeah, kind of a good thing we didn't play Ragnaros this turn. Or um, actually no, I guess it doesn't matter. He does. It's not about his attacks that I found out. Like his attack and uh, yeah, he's getting annoyed because he's uh, not doing so well. But anyway, um, it, Ragnaros does 8 damage regardless, regardless of what he's attacking health is. It's just, the card is 8 damage, so it's not actually his 
stats. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Yep. So we've got nothing but minions now. You know, been a been a nice game. And um, we've got the Ragnaros, the savior in our deck. I put him in. Look, this is look. See, you'll see. Uh, well, actually, no, I guess you won't see because it was health I buffed. But if I use Inner Fire to change it to 16, 16 it wouldn't have. It would just still would have done 8 damage. So that's something I learned. So you guys might want to read the cards or just, you know, have an attention span. That'll, that'll, that'll help. Now, his legendary was Alex Straza. If, if you've played World of Warcraft, you'll know this dragon. Um, right, so basically, <coughs> um, that its special ability does set a character's remaining, uh, a hero's remaining health to 15. So it's really good if it's, if it's like too low, it just sets it to 15 regardless if it's too high or if you're low health or thing. It's not like a, a damage, it's just a spell kind of a thing. And right. Yeah, um, so this guy conceded because we were drawing as many cards and have a uh, good battle advantage. So that's been a, a very good episode. So guys, this has been episode one of the Hearthstone video series. I've been Kuzos and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye-bye.